ignore it. Right. The rattle can't bother us if we don't let it. It's not bothering me at all. Oh, waddle, waddle. Well, it's driving me crazy. I think I know where it's coming from. Where? where? It's coming from under your seat, Willow. <gasps> You're right, Corby. <laughs> See anything? Maybe. Uh, uh, I can't reach it. Oh man. There's only one thing to do. I'm gonna get my toolbox and take the whole seat apart. Willow, that sounds serious. Too serious. I think we all need a break. Let's go outside. Good idea, Marco. Come on, everybody. Ah, it's so beautiful here. And so calm. And so peaceful. Waddle, waddle. <sighs> it's just like the rattle in the polo mobile. Only worse. What's making that noise? Hey, you guys, look up. It's a woodpecker. Oh, wow. It's beautiful. Hmm. I think its feet really help it hang onto the tree. Yeah. Two of its toes face forward and two face back. So it can stay balanced while it pecks and climb the tree. I wonder how many times a woodpecker pecks wood. We could count. Okay, go. It says here that a woodpecker pecks 20 times in a second. I'll time us. Okay? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop. Time's up. Wow. We can't count nearly as fast as a woodpecker pecks. So why is it pecking? Is it eating the bark on the tree? Or is it digging for something in the tree? Hey! Look! Whoa! It's got a beak full of bugs. That must be what it eats. Insects that live under the bark in trees. Yeah, but how do they get them out? Let's see. Well, what do you know? A woodpecker's tongue is long and sticky, so it can reach deep into trees and pull out insects. I'm having an engineering moment. Polos, back to the polo mobile. <laughs> Whee! Yeah! Yeah! I wonder how many satellites are in orbit. There are thousands. Whoa! What? Whoa! Ah! The satellite we're visiting and many others like it are machines that have been launched into orbit. They send and receive signals to and from the Earth so that we can communicate with each other. Wow! So Corby and Lily's call had to go all the way up here before the signal got sent to us? Not just their call, everybody's calls. And videos. Look, weather reports. La 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 <laughs> la. And, and music. music. So without satellites, we can't call our friends, watch shows, or even know if it's gonna rain? Wow. Let's see if we can see what's wrong with this satellite. Hold on! Whoa, wow! There's the problem! Oh, the antenna is bent! It can't send and receive signals from Earth if it's damaged. Well, I guess I better go straighten things out. Wait, you mean the antenna, right? You're going to go straighten out the antenna. <sighs> That's right, Chester, the antenna. Oh, good. Just wanted to make sure. Ugh. Whoa, whoa! Yes, I made it. Great, Marco. Now go over to the bent piece. Ugh. Whoa! Whoa! <gasps> Ew! Okay, now straighten it, then tighten the bolt so it stays put. <sighs> it's stuck! <sighs> Yeah, Marco, you did it! Way to push! Whoa! 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 Oof! Uh, I'm okay. Is 
it working? Corby, Lily, can you hear me? Hi, Polos! It works! Yeah, <laughs> all right. Way to go, Marco. We're happy to see you, too, because we've got a big problem. What? We forgot to pack spoons. Last time I ate soup without a spoon, it wasn't pretty. Huh? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Message received. We'll bring some. Hey, where's my drill? Changing to Polo Marine mode. And down we go! Hey, it says here that the ocean has different zones that get different amounts of sunlight. Right now, we're in the topmost zone, called the sunlit zone. Plenty of sunlight can reach this area, but the deeper we go down, the darker it gets. Below the sunlit zone is the twilight zone. Here, a little sunlight can reach. And below that, deep, deep down, is a midnight zone. Light can't reach here at all, so it's completely dark. Wow! It's getting really dark. Uh, it's kind of spooky. I'll turn the headlights on. Whoa! What is that? A rat tail fish. It's named that because of its really long tail fin. In the deep ocean, only plants and animals that can survive extreme pressure live here. And most of them look very unusual. Ooh, like that creature. Yes, that's a type of sea slug called a nudibranch. It's cool, but I don't see Nash's dolphin. Ooh, what's that thing? What is it? Wow, jellyfish. <gasps> and they're glowing. When a creature can make its own light, it's called bioluminescence. It's very useful when there's no sunlight around. Lucky dolphin! <gasps> Nash, you found it. The glow from the jellyfish helped you see where your toy landed. Oh, yeah. Way to go, Nash. All right. I got it! Nice! nice. Good, Good work, work Willow. Willow. Dolphin. Here you go, Nash. Good as new. <sighs> Wait! Hey. Just a little soggy still. <laughs> Runners, how come they're just laying around? Cheetahs don't run for fun. They run to hunt animals for food. So, if we want to see it run, guess we should find something cheetahs run after, like gazelles. There's one. I think it's creeping up on its prey. But wait, I don't see any prey. It's watching and waiting for the right time to pounce. Oh, look over there. Whoa. A gazelle. Wow, look at it go. The cheetah is fast. But so are the gazelles. I think I got the cheetah's whole run. Let's check out the footage in slow motion. The cheetah picks up speed so quickly, and it accelerates just like I did. Look at its leaping strides. Its claws help it grip the ground so that its feet don't slip around when it runs. It says here that the cheetah's claws stay out all the time. They never fully retract. It's the only cat that does that. Let's see what the speed tracker says about how fast it's going. It was running as fast as a car driving on a highway. Zoom! Now that is fast. Cheetahs are amazing runners. Plus, I like their faces. Those black marks under their eyes are cool. Those markings are called teardrops. They 
help keep the sun from glaring in their eyes so they can see where they're going. You know, I think I'm ready to try another run. I put black under my eyes to block out the sun's glare. I'm stretching so that I can take long strides. And my shoes have spikes like claws so that I won't slip. Ready? Time to run like a cheetah. Go! Cheetah Lily! your fastest time ever! Way to go, Lily! Thanks, Willow. Thanks a lot for helping me learn to run faster, Cheetah, old buddy. And now I'm gonna do something else that cheetahs do. What's that? Lay down. 